Hey guys, welcome to the video. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Glad that you're here. So today I want to talk about the road trip and what exactly that looks like for traveling across Canada. So I started planning for this trip about eight months ago, maybe nine months ago in terms of thinking about where I want to go, getting all the things I need, working on the Jeep to get it to where it is today. And as much as I want to go and do this trip from coast to coast, there's a couple obstacles in my way. And I've been thinking about it a lot. I'm not going to be doing the road trip how I intended it uh, when I planned it out eight months ago. And the reason for that is I want, I'm still taking COVID-19 very seriously. I don't want to do anything that is irresponsible or silly or stupid or anything like that. So the trip is not going to happen now. But what that means is when the timing is right, I am going to pack up everything that I've gathered and I am going to hit the road and do this trip. For me, I look at it as a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I definitely don't want to give that up, even if I just have to wait a little bit longer for things to make sense. That's where I am with the road trip. Um, the reason for that is I wasn't planning on just beelining on uh, the main highways. I was going to go through little towns, back roads. I was going to take my time with it. And even though I don't have any symptoms of COVID, maybe I could pass it on somehow or I get it along the way or something like that. So to not jeopardize other people, I'm not doing the trip at, the, at this moment. However, I do have a contingency for this summer and that's going to be shared with you on this channel coming up. So my very first vehicle is a 1987 Corvette. My dad and I built it when I was back in high school for getting good grades. And when I went off to university, the car kind of sat and I graduated university four years ago. So it sat for about eight years. And I would start it up the odd time just to make sure like it's not sitting too, too long. And I, I would drive it around from time to time, but not nearly as much as I should. Like I have brand new brakes on it that I'm probably gonna have to swap out because of the rust build up on it. But the reason why I'm saying all that is I am pushing the button and I'm getting some work done. So stay tuned, that's gonna come up in a little bit. I have really big plans for this Corvette. It's the first one that I've ever owned. Um, and I mean vehicle. So a lot of sentimental attachment to it. I'm not gonna sell it. Basically, I'm gonna be building it up for me, not for it being resold. And I'm gonna have that on the channel. Second thing is I got another Jeep because I love Jeeps and working on a Jeep is completely different than working on a Corvette. And I, I guess you'll kind of see that a little bit as I work on different things on, on different cars. The Jeep that I got was about a nine hour round trip and it is a 19 something. And stay tuned because I'm gonna make its own video for it to reveal it to you because it's that awesome of a Jeep. Guarantee you're gonna love it. Everyone who sees it stops, takes a picture, they look at it, they talk to me, they like it. And I know you're gonna like it. So keep an eye open because the video's coming out soon. That's gonna reveal this beautiful Jeep. I keep looking at it. That's whenever I look that way, it's, I'm looking at it. Right? Oh, I'm not showing you. You gotta wait. You gotta wait till uh, till that video comes out because it's freaking awesome. And I can't be any happier with owning this new Jeep. Just wanted to let you know, moving forward, as much as I'd want to do this road trip, this Jeep, the Boomerang, has been leading up to. I'm not gonna jeopardize other people's safety and my and my own safety. Right? So. I didn't really want to spend too much time cutting and editing and editing this video. I just wanted to kind of like talk to you, let you know what's happening. And yeah, I'm super pumped. I'm so excited to finally start working on my Corvette again, as well as work on this new Jeep project because I love building things and working on things and solving problems. So that's kind of the direction I'm going to take for now. When COVID is more settled and figured out and the laws are reflective of that and I am legally allowed to travel outside of Ontario um, without endangering anyone. I'm definitely going to hit the road and do that. So even though it's not happening now, I promise you it will happen in the future. So stay tuned. It's going to be a great, like unbelievably great trip and adventure where like all the limits are tested. So if you haven't yet, 
Also, subscribe, hit that bell. I just realized that that bell gives out notifications. If you want to stay uh, like up to date on the progress I'm making, then that would be awesome. With these two projects, what I'm going to try and do is make it so every day I'm posting a video of the progress that happens. And uh, I guess we'll just kind of take it from there. It's going to be a challenge for me on top of working on these cars to, to post daily videos, but that's something that I set out as a goal and I really want to try and do it. I'm going to work really hard to try and get a video out every single day for you guys so you know uh, what's happening. So thank you for tuning in. This upcoming summer is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be tearing apart the Corvette. I'm going to be tearing apart this new Jeep. Stay tuned. Even though that road trip's not happening, some awesome stuff is going to happen on this channel with some cool cars. So I'm glad you're here and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.